Connor McMahon is a cancer survivor who has dedicated his young life to helping other children deal with the disease. But last March, Connor learned his cancer had returned. And it's a new challenge this all-star hockey player is ready to beat again. With their hockey sticks in hand, Connor McMahon and his dad are finding a way to escape. Passing the puck oh, that's close. is part of Connor's therapy. I don't want to go inside now. I'm tired. 12 year old Connor yeah. was admitted to the Aflac Cancer Center just before the end of his all star hockey season last month. His back was hurting so badly he could barely skate. They asked my parents if they would like to talk in the hallway. And then when my parents came back in the room, they said that um, there is a very good possibility that you have cancer again. The same kind of cancer he battled as a three-year-old was back. He immediately began chemotherapy treatments for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. You know, one of the conversations that Connor and I had was, I told him, I said, Connor, you're in the best place in the world. This, they're going to cure you just like they cured you the first time. Connor was considered cured four years ago. That's when he came up with a program called Connor's Hope, a way to give back by delivering gift bags to cancer patients. Turns out one of those patients, Reese McPhail, was also a huge hockey fan. So Connor and his family arranged for Reese to skate with Connor's team and shoot his first goal. No one could imagine then that Connor's cancer would return one month later. It's like the opposite now, like Reese now is coming to me and saying never give up hope after I go to him and say never give up hope, so that's pretty cool. Talk about cool, just look around Connor's hospital room. How many kids get one of those? Connor's favorite player, Henrik Lundqvist of the New York Rangers, sent him an autographed goalie stick. This signed jersey came from Mark andre Fleury of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Hey, Connor. And listen to this greeting from Nick Antropov, a former Atlanta Thrasher Atlanta. who now plays for Winnipeg. I just wanted to wish you a speedy recovery. Stay strong and keep your head up, buddy. Take care. Connor's family is also trying to boost his spirits. His dad and younger brother shaved their heads after Connor lost his hair from chemotherapy. It helps a lot, but it makes me feel like, like people are actually, people are... People care, and they, they, they're there to support me. Oh. <laughs> he has a ton of support and determination to beat cancer again. It's pretty nice if you ask me. Jennifer Leslie, 11 Alive News. Now, Connor is still undergoing treatment, but we are happy to report he is back on the ice, and we wish him nothing but the best. You've just seen a number of stories that highlight the best in all of us. And our mission to tell more stories of the heart continues in 2014. From the entire 11 Alive family, we wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year.